hello guys welcome back to the channel this lab is just recently updated so i will show you the easiest way to come to this lab so first of all just log in with your credentials like this and then copy this ide url copy this thing and open the new window in your incognito mode and open it okay now just click on this page icon then click on this uh, down arrow of the one basic etl then click on this lab and now simply click on this terminal and click on this new terminal like this and please make sure you are in the uh, this kind of path called hope project training data analyst quest and data flow now just scroll down a little bit and copy the first command copy this command and run over here this command will take uh, around one minute so just wait for that So it's finally done. Now just copy the second command and run over here. Now it will also take few seconds to so just wait for that. Meanwhile, what you have to do, just go to the task number three, and here you will get one link called solution. Just click on that. Okay. Now go to your lab instruction page and go to the task number two. Okay. So just wait until this command get executed properly. So it's done now. If I just click on the check my progress for task number one, I will get without any issue. Okay. So now what you have to do is just copy this command and run over here. Okay. Now just go to the two branching pipeline. Click on this down arrow. Then click on this lab. And now here you have to just create uh, multiple files. Okay. So as I said, you have to open this link. First of all, just copy this metadata.json. Copy that. Then click on this uh, folder called labs. Right click over here. Then click on new files and replace the name called metadata.json. And from here, you can check the path on which path you are right now. Okay. And make sure you are, you are also in the same path. Now click on OK. Now just copy this content and paste over here. Okay. Now simply click on this solution. Okay. And then open this three files called docker file dependency and pom.xml actually we already make the metadata file so we don't need to uh, do it again so now again copy this docker file again click on this folder called labs new file and replace the name and copy this content and So it's created now just paste that content of docker, docker file then copy this uh, dependency reduce pom xml copy this right click over here again same thing I replace the name and click on ok then copy this content okay like this and paste over here and for the last called pom.xml just copy that content and here you can see it's already created in created for you already so make sure you are in the labs src not in src folder under the under just a lab you will get one pom.xml file uh, some content is already created for you you can see 89 lines of code is present over here just replace the code with which you copy from this github repo like this now just click on this 
uh, file then click on this save all okay now what you have to do just go to the, your lab instruction page please make sure that you already run this command update your pipeline code okay once you done with that we already uh, make the configuration here now just copy this command and run over here now it will take few seconds so just wait for that and here you can see you got the output like build is success if you get any error over here like build is uh, failed so that's the reason because you might miss anything in this uh, mess with this kind of files or you just uh, forget to run this command okay so we uh, we have done with this now just copy this if you want otherwise you can just ignore that command also this is give the like uh, what files are present in the now just copy this one no need to copy this thing because we already make the changes copy that command run over it okay now just copy this last command and wait until this get executed so it's done now run the last command okay now it will take few seconds so just wait for that So it's finally done. Now just simply click on check my progress and got a score. Now in the task number three, we not uh, we don't need to make any changes because we already make uh, in the task number one. Now just copy this command and run over here. Uh, type yes. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now it will take few seconds so meanwhile if you want you can just wait for until this get executed or you can just move ahead with the task number 4. Now just open this thing in incognito window. Click on this create a job template then give the any name if you want you can just I'm just giving customer dot dash jobs and for the data flow just search for custom template like this now just in the path click on this browse option then click on this second option then click on this templates and from here choose my templates like this okay now for the location just wait until you will get like this kind of path okay now just if you just scroll down a little bit and here you get input file path so here you will get input file path this what I am talking about okay so now what you have to do just copy this thing copy that and paste over here like this then for the out output path copy this and paste over here okay and now for the BigQuery table copy this thing and paste over here okay do not worry about that error i will let you know what you have to do now just copy this project id copy this and make the changes over here let me just zoom in for you so that you can 
make sure you select from this dollar to this bracket like this like this and here like this okay now what you have to do in the second called output file location you have to just add one thing template underscore output like this dash okay make sure you, uh, your file also look like this do not worry about that i will share all the contents for you you just need to uh, update your project id okay once you make all the, the all these changes just scroll down and click on this run job now wait for at least five minutes this jo job will succeed and if you just go to the, your uh, id so the command is executed properly now what you have to do just if I just click on this check my progress you will get a score okay now in the task number four we already make the data flow using UI now we have to use uh, using command line so just copy this code go to your IDE and run over here just hit enter and here you will get like this kind of output now if you just go to your custom dot jobs and click on this job option you can see there are two jobs are in running one is a customer job and one is my template and some kind of unique number so just wait for at least five minutes and after that your job will be success and you will get a score on the last task also If I just refresh it again, you can see both the jobs are in running state. Okay. So we have to wait until this gets success.
so for me custom customer jobs took uh, 5 minute 44 seconds and my template is still in running state so just wait for few minutes more and both the things are done in 5 minute 31 seconds so yeah it's take uh, sometime 5 minutes or sometimes it's take more than that as you can see and if i just click on check my progress for the last task i will get a score without any issue okay so if you still guys have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and if you want like this kind of uh, video for the serverless labs please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys